Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, I Love Lukey's Crochet and Treasures. If you're new to my channel, my name is Tracy. I live in Alabama and I love to crochet and I love yarn. And that's mostly what my channel's about. Although I do throw other stuff in there. And I like to share the things that I make too on my Etsy shop, like the jewelry stuff. And um, so, but it's been so hot in Alabama, I mean terribly hot. I am so ready for winter already. And um, uh, but if you're new to my channel, I want to welcome you and I hope that you like it here. And I hope you stay and I want to say thank you to all of you who always come back and watch my videos. Y'all really mean a lot to me and I'm sorry I haven't been on very much here lately. I'll give you a little update of what's been going on with me. I have been sick and I'll tell you more about it at the end of the video because, you know, some people might not want to hear what was wrong. <coughs> Excuse me. And so, I, but I wanted to get on because it's been so long. I got a little bit of yarn to share with y'all. Uh, I got a couple of uh, finished objects and just small finished objects because I hadn't been able to crochet or anything. And, um, and some things that I made that I haven't got on my Etsy shop yet. And some things that I went, I was going through some of my makes that I had, you know, packed up because I have summer tops in there and I want to be able to wear them, you know, in the summer. And so I'm going to share some of those with you, which if you've been with me a while, you've probably seen them on another video because, you know, I share the things that I make on here, hoping to inspire some of the people out there that crochet to maybe make some of the things that I make. Or I get inspired by all of you and seeing all the beautiful things that, that, that you make because a lot of you sometimes you'll send me pictures in my email of the pretty things that you've made and I, I like getting that and um and then I see the other youtubers the pretty things that they make so we just you know one big wonderful community here and uh so but I, I want to share all that with y'all and I hope you all have been doing good and staying cool in this hot weather and um I noticed where Lisa at Lisa's crochet had a video, I don't know if it was on Facebook or YouTube, but I think it was Facebook. They had some horrible weather where she lives, looked like tornado weather. And um, so I hope that all that is straightened out. If you're watching, Lisa, I hope it, that you stay safe and Darla and all of you up there in Canada. And, uh, but yeah, you just, the weather is, you, you can't tell the times of the seasons nowadays. It, seasons just run into each other. I mean, you know, you used to could tell the signs of, you know, what season it was, but, but they all just kind of run in together now, and you don't really know. I mean, sometimes we've had tornadoes in December, and um, so you just don't never know. So, but I hope you're all are staying safe. Uh, I guess, the, oh, I have an Etsy shop if you'd like to go over and check it out. Uh, I'll leave it in the description box of this video for those of you who may not know I have an Etsy shop But a lot of you do know I have an Etsy shop and I want to thank you all so much for going over and favoriting the, the things in my Shop and for all the beautiful reviews and for all the purchases that you've made uh, It really 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 helps me out a lot and I so much appreciate it but I, I make necklaces and earrings and bracelets and keychains and now I've been making these pretty little pins and um so I just you know I like to fool with stuff like that you know it kind of breaks up the crochet and stuff so but I want to share that with y'all first I guess the stuff that I have it now remember these that I'm showing now I don't think I put them on my Etsy shop yet uh, I've been sick but I hope to get them on here soon because I think I'm on the I think I'm on the road to 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 be amended <laughs> so but let me just show you I tried to mix, mix and match some of the pins with the uh, keychains because it makes beautiful gifts um, at affordable prices and it's and it's cute and it's unique I think but so here's the pin and then I have the same beads on this one so you could buy it like I said. Um, but even if you don't, it's the, the price is the same on individually. Um, let's see. And then you have this one. And let's 
let's say this one. And the pens come with an uh, extra ink filler. And then I have this one. And then I have one with the puppy. And one with the butterfly. So... Anyway, so I got to put those on my shop. I just haven't done it yet. <coughs> okay, so now I'm going to show you some of the yarn. Okay, I've been sick for like two weeks, so I hadn't really been able to go take advantage of the Hobby Lobby sales. But now, this past Friday, I was having an okay day. And so I went to Hobby Lobby and... I got a few little things, but I couldn't stay in there long because I didn't I hadn't got my strength back yet. But I did get a few things there, and I hope to go back. There's two that I shop at. Um, they're they're about I don't know they're about 50 miles apart. But anyway, so I found I didn't go crazy because I mean, but a lot of the yarn that I'd seen people getting. Mine hadn't been marked down yet, but I thought these was pretty, and I, I'm going to try to think of something to, cute to make with this. It might be like a, a wrap or something, but it's this uh, through thick and thin yarn. It's like it's got little thin parts in it and little thick parts. Oh, sorry, y'all. And uh, it's, it's really unique looking. And I got it for $1.12. It's usually $4.49. And it's through thick and thin. And this is the colorway Sage. This is the same yarn in the colorway. <clears throat> and the colorway is Ivory. And then you got mauve and lilac gray but I thought these look good together these colors what y'all think so I got those and then I got and this was all the yarn that I got But I thought these would be pretty for cowls, cats and cowl sets for the fall and the uh, winter. And it's uh, fleece light and it's black and it's yarn B. I got it for $1.49. It's normally $6.49. So that's pretty good, y'all. And it's 97% acrylic and 3% polyester. It's very, very soft. And I think it's a bulky... A bulky five and they're all the same as I got four in the black how many yards 110 yards but I thought it would make pretty cowls and hat sets for the, the fall and winter and that's all that I got as far as the yarn was concerned let's see and then I had made an order from Premier. No, Lime Brand. Gosh, I don't even know, y'all. Yeah, Lime Brand. They were having a sale on that. They had some new colors of this Mandela Ombre, and I wanted to get a couple of them so I could, you know, see what they look like. They're very pretty. I mean, I didn't get no huge order. But I got two of the Mandela Ombre, and the color is Wonder Merville. Um, number four, 344 yards, 100% acrylic. And y'all know that this Ombre Mandela is very, very soft. And um, so Wonder Merville, or something like that. 
so I like those colors. And then this color is Transform. So, and then they had a sale on their, um, and I don't, I'm not a bulky person. I don't like bulky yarn. But I will make cowls and hats out of it sometimes if I like the colors. <laughs> but I got, I think I got two colors of those. Yeah. These have, this is called Woodstock. And it's Mandela Impressions, the colorways of Woodstock. Um, here, this is open. Uh, the bulky number five, 164 yards, 100% acrylic. And this color is, this color is Woodstock. I got two of them. And then this color is patchwork. Uh, I think I got two of each, yeah. So, Mandela Impressions. And then they had this ice cream yarn on sale. With some, I think these are new colors. But I like this. It's a uh, Funfetti. But look at those colors. I think you can see it in the bag, too. Look at those beautiful colors. It's kind of like a, a washed-out look. And I have another color of this in my room I was making something out of. I'll share that with y'all when I get it finished. This is called Hokey Pokey. Ain't it so cute? These would make cute baby blankets or, you know, things like that. Pokey pokey. And y'all know the ice, I think I told y'all the ice, the ice cream yarn has 394 yards. It's a lightweight number three. <clears throat> and then I got, this was on sale. The paper didn't tell me the prices of anything. So, but it was, they were on sale. This is a super fine one, 100% acrylic at 350 yards, and it's the Mandela string. Now, I think these would, I, I think I made like a shawl cover, a cover up, seemed like I did with this Mandela string when I got it, and, uh, but I think these would make a cute bag. So, this color is called Disco. So, but that's all the yarn that I got from that sale. Um, I didn't get a whole lot. I just wanted to see some of the new colors and everything. Okay, the next thing I want to do is share some makes with y'all. Uh, I, I know I've shared them in the past probably, but it's probably been a long time because, you know. But I was going through my stuff because I wanted to get some of my summer, you know, tops out so I could wear them. And, uh. I may not remember where I got the tutorial, I'm sorry, and I may not know the yarn, but we'll, I just wanted, I know y'all said y'all would like to see some of my, you know, makes, but this is the top that I made, and I think it's out of that uh, cotton, let me see, I think I got some right here behind me, what's it called, uh, Oh, Cotton co cotton Colors by Loops and Threads. And it was a few years back they it came out. But this is probably a bag a day, but I can't swear to it. But they look cute on. I like them. And these fit me really good. So I got that one I made. And then this one, it's like a, 
like a, a long cover up thing that you could wear with jeans or <clears throat> anything like that. And I think, <clears throat> excuse me, y'all, I think this is Bag O' Day. Uh, this is cotton yarn too. And uh, I, I love it. Just put on a little tank top and put this over it. It's kind of long. You wear it with jeans. You can wear it with shorts over your bathing suit. It's cotton. So, and I, I think it's bag of day. Let's see. This is bag of day. One of her summer tops. And I'm trying to remember what yarn I used. Oh, my goodness. Can't remember. But it's like lacy. And you just put it over, you know, tank top. And it's very lacy. Very nice for the summertime. So that. Then I may, I think this is Bag of Day or Darla. The Crafty Yarn Isle. I can't remember, but it might be the one that Darla made. Darla the Crafty Yarn Isle. And this is that, uh, True Boo. It's got like a V-neck. Yeah. It's really pretty. Very light. Cool material. And I think I had this on in one of my last videos, didn't I? My last video. I think it's Bag of Day too. It's like the other one I showed you. And then this one I, I made Linda just a yarn sister Linda. Linda the crochet Yarn, I can't remember her, her channel name, but I know y'all remember. Linda, just a crochet sister. She had gifted me some of this comfy cotton and the cream color, and I made this top out of it. I think this might, I don't know if this is Darla's or Bag o Day. Ain't that pretty? And... I have to keep getting up and down. Now this, I think, is by... I don't know. I don't think this is by Bag o Day. It could be, but it, I th I'm thinking it's by Nastasia.com. Um, yeah, Nastasia. 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 <laughs> Here on YouTube. Huge, huge shawl. Ain't it pretty? Look at those colors. Great for the summertime. Very sharp point, which I like. Very nice. And it's something you could take with you. And, and if the restaurant's cool or you're walking on the beach and it's cool. Ain't that pretty, y'all? I love it. I got a bag down here. I have these in. Okay. Now, who is this by? Huh. Probably Bag o Day. I'm not sure. Or it might be something I just did. I can't remember, y'all. But it's that cotton. Green cotton from Michaels. And it could be Bag o' Day. I can't remember, y'all. I just wanted to share some of them with you. Some of the makes. I don't, you know, I know they're in the videos. And then I have purses that I have. I saw all these purses that I made that I had bagged up. Let me get a drink of this. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's my cup that Kelly from Crochet Mall for Life got me with the Golden Girls. I keep water in it. Uh, this is Bag of Day. One of her bags. And I put 
that little poodle on there. And I got this chain from a thrift store, I think. And I just crocheted this little mesh thing right here and, and stuck it down in here. And it makes like a divider and plus it makes it sturdier. But you could have, you know, a divider in there. And I just love this little purse. I think it's adorable. Lots of bobbles. Very pretty. And then this purse I made a while back from Bag O' Day. I believe it was Bag O' Day. Whew. Let's see. Yeah. It's a bl big black bag. Black, black candles. I think I got from the thrift store or somewhere and I, but and I lined it um, I hand sewed it it's not the greatest but I got her done and that's a nice little old purse and uh and then I made this. And I'm not sure, but it might be bag o' day. <laughs> now, I do make other people's stuff too, Racy Lori. But I do love Crystal now, and I love her style. And um, this is a market bag. And it's made out of uh, sugar and cream, I think. In the purple. But it's a pretty good size. And this is her beach bag she made a while back. Now, I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> but I had some fabric. And I just ripped it. And put it on here for my handles. And I just thought it gave it like a, a shabby sheet look. Um, this is made out of. Uh, sugar and cream or I'm not sure but look why is it tangled up here and then I got these big things on clearance at the spring shop at Michael's I might take these off because they're kind of getting on my nerves but they're big old tassels and I just put one on each side just for a little, a little decor. I, I crocheted around a mesh thing and put it on the bottom. So I made that one. And then remember this bag Crystal made? It's called the loop, Loopy Bag. And this was one of my favorite ones to make. And I loved making it out of Caron Big Cakes. That's what this yarn is. But ain't that cute, y'all? I love it. I can't tell you how many of these I have made. So pretty. I really like it. Uh, and then, remember her owl? I had made a bunch of these too. I think I sent Nancy over. She's got yarn too. I think I sent her one in her the gator colors that I had made. But look, so cute. That's the crocodile stitch. Now, this is on Crystal's channel. If you like it. And I think, I don't know which yarn. I think I used different yarn. Like, I think I used Karen Simply Soft or something. But yeah, it was fun to make. And then remember, Crystal made those uh, Japanese knot bags. Now, y'all, this is not been too long ago but I made those this is from Hobie yarn but they're cute I like these bags and then you just take this and stick it through there like a little it's like a Japanese knot bag very pretty and then the last one I'm going to share with you is this and I think this is the Karen B cakes but 
Ain't that pretty, y'all? I love those colors. Very nice. And oh, I forgot to show you. I made some hats. Um, one of the hats I made is by DOI Creations. Uh, I'll leave this tutorial in the description box. Anything like that I, that I know of with the pattern of, I'll leave it in the description box. But yeah, it's going. This mannequin head small. But yeah, it's a ruffle hat. But I thought it'd come out cute. I went to show my daughter, and she said, I like George Washington. I like his wig or something. It's funny. And then this is by Crystal. But I have donated to the cancer center uh, in Tuscaloosa before. And I think I'm going to make some of these bucket hats out of all this Simply Karen Simply Stop yarn that I got and get my niece when she goes to work to take them to the cancer center if she don't mind. And this is Simply Stop. Karen Simply Stop. Now this is not. This is from Hirschner's. I can't remember the name of it, but... But I thought then here's another one of them that Crystal made a bucket hat. Ain't it pretty, y'all? So, you know, I thought, you know, to brighten somebody's day that's going, my mama, you know, had cancer and and my, my sister-in-law, Janet. And, um, so, I think it was when my before my sister-in-law Janet passed, I had took some um, hats over there, me and my brother. But uh, but my mom had cancer, you know, and they lose their hair when they get radiation and all that stuff and chemo. Their hair will come out. And, and, but So they need soft little caps that they can wear. And so and I, you can go in there. I think they have a table there. I guess it's still like the same way. Have a table there where you can put your, your and they can just go up and get it. They see something they like, they can have it. They don't have to pay for it or anything. And I thought it would be a, a nice way to at least brighten somebody's day for a second or two. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, especially the older people. They're really appreciative, I think, more. Well, I hate to say that, but, you know, of handmade things. And so I thought, you know, well, I'm going to make a bunch of different colored ones and take them up, you know, have them taken up there and, <clears throat> displayed or whatever and they can pick what they want out of it and hopefully it'll brighten somebody's day and of course I'll say a prayer over my stuff when I'm making it for who the person I'm giving it to that the Lord will be with them and bless them and keep them safe and healthy and well and all that good stuff and um so but anyway that's what I was going to do oh and I got this little old cow ain't that cute y'all at Hobby Lobby, my husband showed these to me, and he said, look, they went before 99 it's super soft, but it's a little cow, and I don't have a cow lovey, so I might turn that into a lovey and put it on my Etsy shop. Let's see, I think that's about it. Oh, and this is something, I can't remember who made this, but I found this too. It's, a, it's one of them things that It's like a long cowl that can kind of go over your shoulders. And uh, I think this yarn is from Hobie, but I can't remember what the name of it is. And I can't see what I look like, so this may not be fixed right. And it has a matching hat. Isn't that pretty? I love those colors. And I love this. Um, here's going to be a mess. But I thought I'd share a few of those bakes since I've been in a, a a rut or whatever you want to call it and haven't been able to crochet very much. Y'all know I'm pretty fast at getting things out when I'm to myself. Uh, crochet is about the only thing I can do fast. But yeah, I just was thought, well, I would just share some of the older stuff I've made. Some people hadn't seen it, and, um, <clears throat> and the ones of you who have, 
I sure don't mind seeing it again. <laughs> but yeah, I've been sick, y'all. Uh, my sisters all passed away. You remember my brother that passed away a few years ago? Well, when he passed away, my sister-in-law was lost. And uh, she got dementia real bad. But she always remembered. My brother's name was Terry. And she would always remember her Terry. And I, she had a picture of him uh, on his pillow. Um, by, you know, on her bed. And she, that, was, that was her Terry. And she loved him to pieces. And he loved her too. And uh, so, but now she's with him. So they're together again in heaven. And uh, so I'm just, that, that really blesses my heart to know that. And then she, but she had gotten to where she didn't know who people were and stuff. And it was just really, really sad. And, um, but when we walked into her funeral and I saw these flowers up there by her casket, it had a, a little piece of paper and it said, welcome home, sugar. That's what my brother called her was sugar. And it said, welcome home, sugar. That just tore me up, but it, I, it was, that was, that was nice. But anyway, her funeral was like on Sunday. Well, Tuesday, I got sick. And I thought I had COVID or the flu or something like that because I was running a high fever, chills, achy all over. Just did not feel good at all. And I went from Tuesday to Thursday, just being in the bed, not being able to, you know, do eat, drink, do anything, really. Just trying to keep my fever down. And when my fever would go up, I'd get sick to my stomach. So I went to my doctor on Thursday. And um, they didn't do no blood work, but they checked my urine for an infection and stuff. And then they swabbed me for the flu and the COVID and all that. So they said it was all negative. And... Um, she asked, she said there was a lot of blood in my urine, and she asked me if I had the kidney stones before. I said, well, I've never been diagnosed with kidney stones or anything like that, but sometimes I wonder if I don't have them, and they, they do come out, but I have a little trouble. Um, I'm assuming it might, but they, they didn't see any kidney stones when they did the x-ray. Well, she said she was going to call me in some minutes. It was a nurse practitioner. My doctor was on vacation. It was a nurse practitioner, and she told me she was going to, so they swabbed me again and they were going to send it off, like wrap it, something, and get it back like the next day, like Friday. And she said she would let me know Friday. And they closed a half a day on Friday, so um, she never did call me in any antibiotics or anything at the drugstore. So I knew I had to do something. I couldn't go another night running that fever and all. So my husband took me to urgent care. And uh, they said I had a real bad UTI. And um, up 